know sometimes you have emergencies and oh, oftentimes it's middle of the night, isn't it? Yes. You've fallen, you're, you're going to the bathroom or whatever, it's dark and you've fallen and, it, and it's middle of the night and you can't get up. Okay, this is how your partner can help you get off the floor. So let's walk everyone through this, Jackie. We're gonna go slow and we're gonna explain some things to you. So one couple, one quick tip I wanna give you. If you witnessed the fall, you kind of know how they went down and you know whether or not you're safe to try and get them up. Now, if your loved one is unconscious, you're worried about a break in a bone, a fracture, you see some blood somewhere, you just call 911. Call 911. Yeah. Don't mess around. Mm -mm. But this is for someone that you know you can safely move around. Yep, and this might happen during the middle of the day, yep. and you just don't want to call the fire department because you've done it too many times. Isn't <laughs> that the truth? Yes. So, okay, let's we go. have at it? Let's have at it. Okay, I'm not bleeding. I don't have a broken bone. I'm conscious. You're able to talk to Jackie, me. Jackie, I just can't get off the floor. All right, let's get The out house of is not on fire. House so, is not on fire. So, let's all just relax for a second because I'm on the floor. I can't hurt myself. Everybody needs to take a deep breath. Just relax and think through these steps. So I'm coming up to David, he's fallen, and I know I'm safe to get him up. So I'm going to pull his knees up. I want both of his knees up. And I want his arms across his chest. I'm gonna straddle him. I'm gonna ask him if he can cross his arms. And then I'm going to do the hand wrestle, arm wrestle grip on both hands. My arms are not crossed. At this point, you want to make sure you have great body mechanics. So you want to get into as deep a squat as you can. And I'm just leaning back into the squat and backing up until I get him to a seated position. Take a minute there. Make sure he feels okay. He's not lightheaded. You're not lightheaded, right? Then go back into your deep squat and you're gonna have to walk backwards and pull. And I'm gonna actually split my stance and pull, pull, pull and get him up off the floor. Now. This works for, <laughs> for a lot of people, but not everyone. Okay, look at the size difference. Right. I didn't really help you a whole mm -hmm. lot, but I had to help her a little bit. Okay, so this one works most of the time for most people. Now, if you have a third person, it's awfully nice to have them behind the person that's fallen to give you a little bit of assistance. Jackie. Let's show everyone another way to get someone off the floor with a towel. All right, so again, you've witnessed this fall or you're 100% certain that you're safe to move them. So that means they're conscious, they're not having any trouble breathing, you're not worried about a broken bone, and you're not seeing any blood. If any of those things are out there, you know, call 911. But right now, I'm coming up to David, and I see he's on his back, and I know he's okay. I'm talking to you, Jackie. I'm talking to her. Things are okay. Uh -huh. The house is not on fire. So you know what? We could actually have a conversation right now. Let the stress level come down. Get the stress down and work together. Right. As soon as I get you up off the floor, we're gonna have a pizza. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> but here's what you're going to need to help him get off the floor. I'm gonna go and get a chair of some sort, a folding chair, a kitchen chair, and a towel, or a gate belt, if you happen to have a gate belt. So here I've got a chair. I'm gonna bring that chair next to him. I'm gonna roll him, but I'm going to use this towel to help me, right? So. I'm gonna start with the towel lengthwise, lengthways mm -hmm. on the floor and I'm gonna roll it up and then I'm gonna tuck it under his back. So I've got about a third of it rolled up. I'm going to help him roll a bit and I'm gonna tuck this towel underneath him. And then 
bring him back to his back, and then I'm going to help his knee come up. So I'm going to bring this outside knee up. I'm going to bring his outside arm across him and his inside arm has to get out of the way because he's going to roll this way. So somewhere up and out, I've got this arm up on his chest and what I want to do is I want to get under his hip and under his shoulder. So I'm going to roll him back up a little bit, roll him, and he should be easy at that point to get onto his stomach. Now look at this great towel. I unroll it. I have this beautiful way to help him get to his hands and knees. So I'm going to straddle and I'm going to pull the ends of the towel towards the middle of him. And I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to need you to help me as much as you can with your arms and whatever strength you have. So get your arms underneath you as if you're going to do a push-up. I'm going to hold each end of the towel. I'm going to say, I really need you to help me here. And I'm going to back up a little bit and pull him to hands and knees, right? I still want this towel to help me. And I'm going to say, David, can you crawl for me? If he can't crawl. I can't crawl. You can't crawl. So you're going to get the chair, move it closer to him so that he can get one hand on the chair and then the other hand on the chair. So you can help by moving that chair in a little bit. Yep. And he's on his elbows on the chair, on his forearms. And then with this towel, I'm just going to give him a little bit of assistance. I'm going to say, I'm going to help you, and I want you to get a leg up. And the other leg comes up. Take a minute. Allow him to stand. And make sure that he's not lightheaded, breathing all right. You've done it. I feel pretty good. I might bring another chair over. So that way you could just sit back down mm -hmm. into a chair. Right. So then that person standing up might get a little lightheaded. If we sit down and here we are yeah. eating our pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. She offered me a pizza if I got up. Practice <laughs> this. This doesn't happen the first time you do it. Practice, yeah. practice, practice. Stop this tape, rewind it, do it again. Do these when you don't need it. Okay, because if you practice, you get better at it. Good luck.